So a few days ago I made a video about the realism and attention to detail with this World Cup update. Today we are taking some of those elements in that video and comparing them with FIFA 18 Career Mode World Cup. As always, if you could share this video with a friend right now, I would definitely appreciate it. Well, the wait is almost over. We are down to the last game of this terrific competition. Two extremely good teams will go head-to-head -head for the trophy itself. Moments away from the kickoff, and we're live. A special game within the context of a very special tournament. The rivalry is intense and historic. Tunisia versus England from Volkograd, and it's live. If you're new to the channel and you want to see more World Cup videos, tap the subscribe button today and the notification bell, and you won't be disappointed. Well, there is the final whistle, and that confirms what we've been knowing for some time that they are the champions. Alan. Yeah, absolute joy amongst those players. They've worked long and hard, haven't they, over the course of the last nine months or so, and boy, they deserve it. These are special moments for a very successful team. Congratulations to them. Wonderful scenes of joy here. And no wonder they're milking the moment. They want to make absolutely the most of this. Well, they're a proper team, aren't they? They've stuck together, defended really well in this competition and snatched the goals at the uh, vital time. So, fully deserved winners. There they go. They are the champions. It's all part of a very special day, this, isn't it? To go and share the moment with the supporters. Yeah, and I know the family up in the stands too. It's one of those days you do not forget in a hurry. Brilliant scenes here. Well, you have to have the team photo and they're getting ready for it now yeah one of those lovely scenes that you'll hang on the wall back at home for teammates in the middle somehow kept out by Buffon I think even his defenders are shocked at that save Italy have done it They've gone all the way from the playoffs to the winners' podium. They're world champions again. They're incredible. I was involved in the Euros in 1992 when Denmark did something similar, but this surpasses that. What an achievement by those boys. Well, they put this date, July 15, 2018, in the annals of Italian football. Very special. against their names in football history long after they've gone it will say world champion there's no higher accolade no and it's difficult to argue that they're not deserved winners in this competition to a man they gave it their all out there champions of the world the best feeling in the world they're on top of the world. There's a real togetherness amongst those players, and they've needed it at times. They came through some sticky periods in this competition, but it was all worth it, wasn't it? Sharing it with the supporters, and they'll know where their families are as well ever linked with Moscow, forever linked with Russia, forever linked with the FIFA World Cup.
And they've needed those fans at times, they've stuck with them. And quite rightly, they acknowledge that support. They will not want this day to end. But they will get some souvenirs of it now as the photographers gather for these prime pictures of the winners of the FIFA World Cup 2018. Welcome everybody to this group stage match in the World Cup where the teams are really tilting for a very big prize. Well, very much so and uh, I think concentration comes into it particularly at this level of football and uh, you don't want to be making... We talk about the highest level that a player can achieve, Alan. You had the honour of playing for England and we've got two national teams here today. Oh, it's always a special moment. You pull on your nation's shirt. Always a big game. This is no different. Comes round once every four years and the prize is to be the top country. Separate them at the moment. And it does have the look of a game that's going to be decided by just one goal. Everyone, welcome to you on this very big day in the World Cup. We've finally reached the final itself, the conclusion to what's been a magnificent competition. Let's hope we get a magnificent match today. Well, I'd be disappointed if we didn't, Martin, given uh, the talent that we've got out there. So let's just hope they can perform to the maximum. Well, this is a matchup between two international teams today. The disadvantage, Alan, is that they don't play together very often. The positive, of course, is they are the country's very best players. They are indeed. And we have got some quality players to enjoy out there today. But, uh, as you say, not all of them. This is the big day. The biggest day in world football. The World Cup final. It only comes around once every four years. And the prize is to be the top country in the world game. It's a brilliant setting, the Luzhniki Stadium in Moscow. And we're lucky to be here. We being myself, Martin Tyler, and Alan Smith. Yeah, we certainly are lucky. You think back to previous finals, they've not all been absolute entertainment, but I think this one will, given the two sets of strikers on show. I've got to say, I think there'll be goals out there. Now it's time for the national anthems.
is really satisfying because they've had to give body and soul to get it. for Argentina Ezekiel Garay starts alongside Nicolas Otamendi at the back Eduardo Salvio starts with Angel Di Maria on the flanks Lionel Messi is the main striker today Brazil's lineup today is this Marcelo starts with Dani Alves in the fullback positions Fernandinho plays with Casemiro in the centre of the pitch we'll see how the striking option works with just one up front a bit overexcited moving forward with some danger to the opposition now they're here and he's got his block in and the cross doesn't get into the middle Angel Di Maria throw to Italy to the World Cup final does show the breadth of talent around the globe yeah it is the beauty of football isn't it sometimes you just cannot predict these two sets of players having said all that thoroughly deserve to be where they are that a player can achieve Alan you had the honor of playing for England Italy have done it they've gone all the way from the playoffs bit of history playing against each other Alan yeah you can feel that extra think of his creative abilities but a couple of goals here have won the match. Yeah, it was a really close call, but... We have got some quality players to enjoy out there today, but uh, as you say, not all of them... Substitute coming on. It's a tactical change. So check the links in the description to join my Patreon group or get a FIFA 18 career mode transfer guide. Both help support the channel further. And if you want to see another FIFA 18 World Cup video, tap the thumbnail on your screen right now. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, tap the VK icon underneath the thumbnail. And I'll see you next time.